Hello, 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 everybody. I'm a little excited. So it wasn't supposed to be till later this evening, um, but Biomutant has released and it's allowing me to go in. So we're going to play a little bit of it, have some fun, enjoy it, just see what it's all about. I'm hoping it lives up to the hype that I have for it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we'll see. Um, let's get into it. Hype train. I'm so excited. Like I I should not be as happy about this game as I am. But I am. Audio love is okay. It's a robot cricket. It's so cute. Okay. Yay. Game audio is not excessively loud, right? How are you today? Oh, that's a lot of creepy little eyes. Something as beautiful as this be dying. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. So I am playing with controller because mouse and keyboard is not my forte. Welcome so to bio this should be good. Uh, let's take a look at some settings here real quick. I'm not a sadist, so I'm not playing on hard. <laughs> Please don't judge. I'm already gonna <laughs> regret playing on medium. <laughs> Encode your DNA. No, not happening, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a sadist. I would hate myself after that. So, I've seen a little bit of the character creation. 
because I'm curious and nosy and I personally think I'm going to end up with the Rex because it is the cutest character <laughs> base anyway <laughs> personally and yes it is what I'm basing this off of don't judge because <laughs> I know there's going to be judgment for that <laughs> Uh -huh. hmm. Define okay. your genetic structure. That's not nice. You shouldn't judge me, Rush. Just because you're a sadist and want to play on the hardest difficulty doesn't mean I have to. I think that's a good... I think it's pretty well-rounded. Uh, overall... I think I'm going to stick with just the base well-roundedness and Choose go from a there. Genetic resilience. So, they don't give, like, an estimation of how much you're going to experience each biome. So, I'm kind of nervous to spec too close to one. But I think the one that scares me the most is probably going to be the radioactivity in general. Plus it's pink. And I like pink. And pink is cute. And it's bright. So we're just going to go Choose that way. Your first style. There's not very many options here. Kind of like that one. They're kind of cute. Pick your main color. No, this isn't going to be difficult. We're going to just make that really pretty and bright. So a little less bright, maybe. Uh, right about there? Yeah. Choose your detail color. And then, simple enough, reduce the brightness a little bit. He's so cute. Look at him. So cute. Pick a class. Mercenary. <coughs> Dead come at sight, saboteur. So I thought about going saboteur. Because it looks like the most interesting melee combat. Though I do prefer ranged. But. I don't know. I've not seen much of the mercenary. Because well. They didn't give any information. Uh, I just say the armor is a little bit lower. Which I'm a little hesitant about. Um, okay. So they can dual wield, which is kind of dope. Melee attacks do 10% more damage. Um, that is a little bit of the all around. I just feel that sword is going to be super clunky. So, Commander. not for me. Freak. And then I was thinking about Psy Freak. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I would get wrecked. I just, just straight wrecked. I'm gonna get wrecked anyway. Let's be honest. Saboteur. Sentinel. Sex 
I'm dead. Mercenary. I think I'm gonna go mercenary though. I I like the style. It, it's kind of cute. Got a nice long sword. So mercenary let's go. Chosen. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of it's a really story smooth. that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Oh, um... I think I like the light side a little better. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. They do. They're on high as well. So it's moving pretty well. It's really smooth. The graphics are so pretty and bright and colorful. The detail is nice too. I like the subtle movement of the grass. Like you can tell it's it's just like a flat layer, but it, it with the way they group it up, it does look really well done. Seems more like you're being lightheaded if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. They're so adorable. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest and so forth. Now, if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. See, I don't necessarily believe that philosophy, because there will always be some dark in the light. So, you can't have light, dark without light, and you can't have light without dark. So, I, I just want to see this probably be something where you kind of fit in the middle somewhere. I don't think one path should be completely defined. Ooh. Oh, the little butterflies. Right is always right. Yeah. All right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature Aww. and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. What's that? <laughs> oh, I dodged. I don't feel like I'm doing any damage to him. I don't like it. No. Ah! I know I parried. I know I hit parry. Oh! So we're gonna break his club. Okay. Better make a run for it. 
This oh, is no. not the time nor place to end this story. That was a bomb. That that was definitely a bomb going at my face. So I will say this the graphics this are time, stunning. It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. I will say the fur graphics are a little uh a little wonky, but I mean it's just minute details. Other than that, it's still adorable. What's in here? The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the oh. end of days began and the tree of life started to die. These look like ugly, like, mole people. Oh, I am so going to die. This is... this the combat is very smooth it's a little it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's not too bad considering I'm potato I'm a potato what's over here is there anything is there like a little secret over here why is this over here there should be a secret over here secrets all the secrets over here. Oh, no secrets over there either. Okay. Secret? Secret? Nope, no secrets. Oh, chest. Electric module. Okay, it's a weapon add-on. Attack. Attach the special effect. Add on. Select. Okay. Uh, medic supply bag. Bags like this contain items that can help you heal. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Okay. What's in here? Oh, secret toilet. Why is there a toilet? Is this like an underground bunker? <laughs> Excuse me. Did I take the thing back here? I don't think I grabbed it. I don't, oh. Nope, I did because I equipped it. Dirt. I don't think I grabbed this though. Uh like to cop. Okay, cool. Uh one hand after the other. Their movement is actually really adorable. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its way. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, he's dead. Uh, pawn maids can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and then press triangle. Got you. Okay. Energy pack. Okay. Tongue tickly? What? Uh, it's like a flower. Okay. There's weird sounds coming from somewhere. It makes me uncomfortable. That doesn't look safe. Is there any secrets? All the secrets. I need all the secrets. Secrets? Oh, okay, okay. It's so pretty. Like, I mean, even, like, the this area that we're in I know is like an old industrial kind of building but the scenery around it is so pretty very well done all the bright colors Whee! okay oh some enemies carry large shields Yay! He wrecked me though, Jeebus! Mom ever tell you not to bring a gun to a knife fight? Or wait, what's it's the other way around? A knife to a gun fight. <laughs> Alright, so defeating enemies and completing quests will give you your XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by ten. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wong Fu and Perks menus to go to the menu press. Options? Okay. Oh. Uh, when you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase in the list. Hmm. 
because I'm naturally squishy, we're gonna go to Vitality. And I'm a potato. Uh, you'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Okay. Um, close combat. We'll see. Eh, one handed slash. Kinda like that one. Okay. So, once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and. Okay. Okay. So. Ah! So if you go. That might come in handy. <laughs> hey, give me one second, guys. Need to turn off notification. <laughs> There we go. That should help. Alright. Now, secret time. There's gotta be secrets, right? No, oh, that door does not open. Secrets. Secrets. All the secrets. Oh, no, can't jump inside that thing. I quite enjoy it, Rush, honestly. It's really smooth. Um, I'm a potato, so of course, Look, you know, it's not great. Box from the was. Oh, but it's man. really smooth, lots of sword play. Um, it's, it's kind of a good balance, I think, between Saboteur and Commando. Um, but I enjoy it, and it's cute. I got a little, little straw samurai hat. Yeah! That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. The claw bar? What? Oh, that, that that's a button to press. Okay. Whoop. In the hole Whoa. I go. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. down this way. Is there a secret? Nope, no secrets. I don't think there's any secrets. Oh, I landed in sludge. My bad. The morphs produce yeah. biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. That that the that the buffle is this open out enemies, guys. It's not great. Including you. Wee. 
Yay! I beat it. Okay, so you absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. You can make something from that. Uh, go to mutations tab to unlock psi powers, biogenetics, and to upgrade your resistances. Okay, so mutations. Ew. Ew. Uh, that's even more gross. Okay, psi powers. Oh, don't hand me those. Eh. In this section, you can change equipment and weapons. The circle icon represents a part, the body, represent a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved in the outfits menu. Okay, so. Came into that hole. The the gross things came out this bubble. Like that's just that no. That that's just no. Up 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 up. Uppity up up up. Secrets. Oh, secret. I got this. I got this, guys. Oh! Okay, I think I got it now. I think I figured it out. It's in your grasp. I know. Shush it. I'm, I'm doing something. I found a secret and I'm determined to get the secret. They trick ya. That wasn't what I thought. I was hoping that was gonna be something different. It was not, guys. It was just a health kit. I wasted all that time for that. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, yeah.
Oxenol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. So this was some sort of lab, I think. Toxinol built vessels Sorry. called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. To switch the node. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. I messed up because I apparently didn't read that right. Oh, it. Oh, okay. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Well. Interesting little tidbits. So basically, we destroyed the planet and all the creatures are living and they're mutating because, well, the sound of spark metal going pew pew is We destroyed the world. Good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left, it can count. I wasn't too bad. There it was fairly go. easy. Any secrets in here? Over here. No, no secrets. Okay. Homie in a wheelchair. Uh, perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stun enemy has stars circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing a one. Okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out.
I have to admit, the sound effects for the combat is really satisfying, honestly. The last of them. Let's talk yeah. to the real one before backup arrives. Time to click all the stuff. Better than nothing. Let's see. All the things. Let's see if there's any secrets in this room? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Close the door. Always safe to close the door. Who is you? Tolu Keta. Ya wawanawe. Oyetu kowe boy. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Do wobble. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. Luatulu maua, mpa, wherefore, wewe. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Remember How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Yuba Tolu Waiwai. Hunto Kuntue Pon Yevun Koja. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. I want to know all the things. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. All right, guys, give me just a brief moment, okay? I need to turn some settings off that I thought were turned off. Alrighty, sorry about that. So let's take a look. By 
default dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can... Okay, I'm not worried about that. Alright. I'm so teeny tiny! We don't jump as high! Oh. He's so tiny. Tiny little thing. Oh. It's a naked mole rat. He looks Asks vaguely familiar. Tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I hope I told you. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. The potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. So I definitely thought it said no no people. <laughs> Not nano people. <gasps> Potato people is better. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Glitter grass. Grass. Glitter grass. Makes you want to say glitter glass for some reason. Oh, the run animation is adorable. Oh. It's so cute! It's so... Oh! Because it's so pretty, look at it! Oh! Oh! Can you swim? <laughs> okay. It's so pretty, look at the... It's like all blue and... Oh! <laughs> you found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete it. Like he's trying to sing. And grow into a tree of life. It's great. <laughs> the small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. <laughs> You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. It's so adorable. <laughs> it looks like a potato. <laughs> the potato people are like potatoes. Am I just this potato? Oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> you <laughs> so handle cute. that net like you've never done anything else. I He's don't believe impressed. that. That was that was potato energy. If I ever saw it. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the pensai tree. Where can I find them? <laughs> 
They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. <laughs> but today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay, okay so we're just going to take a second here. It is so pretty. Like, I just, just want to admire the ceiling because it's just so stunning. It's so bright. Whee! Like every time he jumps, there's like a little key noise. I wonder why. Oh, it's such a pretty little tiny tree. Oh. Oh, no longer a tiny tree. Oh, tiny tree, big roots. <laughs> now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. I love how he sings everything. It's great. <laughs> no, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. <laughs> he lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Oh. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. World Eaters? <sighs> the genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. Oh. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West. Jumbo Puff. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. The water. Yeah, you mawa. Out of date, says his friends are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Fabube, Muk Kofar. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. 
Miami. Before we hit on Tukub Kirko. He wants you to understand that you all die if the tree isn't saved. I I don't know which one I want to choose, because I want to know how I can defeat them. But why Porky Puff? I do our Ya Ea Ugabun Ang Ugagad Yebromo Vufu. He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. So, is this the same person as best before? I'm assuming so. It kind of makes sense. And this lighting, goodness gracious, is so pretty. It just the dynamic effects on, especially on the hat too. Like you tilt it down this way, and it casts like this perfect shadow. But then when you tilt it right side up, it the shadow adjusts. Oh, it's so nice, so satisfying. Any secrets in here? You have any secrets in here? Out of date? Oh no, can't get on there. All right, so we go out. Out, out. You're getting alive. The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a secret up on that beam. Can I get on the beam? Oh, maybe a little higher, I think. Is there a secret up here somewhere? Okay, maybe not. Let's go. Does not look like it. That's fine. Tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. does not help me anyway. I'm a potato when it comes to directions. I'm still going to get lost. Let's see. Don't wait. Okay. Come back to that thought in a second. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it. You can fast travel to a signpost you've unlocked by selecting it on the map. To open the map at any time, press that. Oh, okay. I, I want to take a second and just so you guys know this this detailed map is stunning I know it's not perfect you can see the trees are not like great but just the fact that it's like a 3d map and is so in-depth and detailed is amazing 
and beautiful. Now, I'm going to say this. He peed on the signpost. Yeah, that, that was a thing that happened. Peed on the signpost. Ah, what's that thing? Is that the porky puff? That that's that's big. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Oh, this poor little village. We got crushed. What's over here? Can I go in the waterfall? Oh, I can. It's back here. Ooh, secrets! Secrets! Yay! Okay. Of the village. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. No. He looks so sad. I mean, I would be too. Granted. <gasps> oh. Sorry, I'm just gonna raid your destroyed village for a second here. It is really sad, actually. Hmm. Poor little creatures. It's just so sad. So Prince you Winchopow. He's heard the stories about the deep voice for a type of creature by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness. That flows through all things at times you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices few are those who always act in the same manner and our wholesomeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take the balance of your actions creates your aura score which affects the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines will award you with Psy Points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Let me help. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. It's a little annoying. You don't have to be so harsh. She's it's cute, but obnoxious. Spark. Take it out now while it's small. Hm. There's always another spark. <laughs> Their interactions are great. Side point unlocked. 
You gain a side point user to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are unlocked by the aura score, meaning that your side points can only unlock powers of the same color as your current aura or those without color. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters. Uh, your current and started quests are shown in the journal. See the tab menu above. You can change the quest track by. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be a good stop to take a small break. I have to use the little girl's room. Uh, we'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes, give or take. Um, and see you soon.
Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're back. Sorry, it took so long. Had to be really bad, apparently. Uh, we're gonna get back into it. I still have to say, though, I love the map. I love how detailed it is. It's so just like in depth. It's great. So, I think this is the Jagni tribe. And this is the Myriad tribe. I don't know which one I'm going to go with. I was thinking the Myriad because they're more for killing the world eaters, which I think is the whole purpose of the game. But I know that like, you have the light and dark path, but I think these are more the dark guys. I don't necessarily want to go to dark path, like a little bit, maybe later. But I think I'm going to stick with Myriad for now. Ah, okay. So that's where we're going to go. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What will it be? So the tunnel, because, well, that's on the way to Myriad. Whereas I think the motor bridge takes us to Jagni base on the map. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Oh. Yeah, swim across swim. <laughs> okay. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Still really, really pretty, for sure. Any secrets? Secrets! Secrets! All the secrets! He's dead. Okay. Oh. Link. I just all oh, the transition to nighttime is so pretty too. Oh, look at it! It's so pretty. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. I mean, yeah, it's a war zone, but it, like, the environment's so pretty. It's not really a war zone. There's nobody in here fighting. I mean, right? That kind of is a stipulation for a war zone. Is there anything up here? Can I not climb the ladder? I don't want to climb the ladder. Oh, okay. Just have to land on it, right? Okay. Oh, hey. Looty loot. Yes. Oh. Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here too. Oh, more loot. At least you got something for your trouble. Well, I'm, I'm kind of from from the people I'm about to go ask. They need help. Mm -mm. Oh well. Got me a med kit. That's what matters. It's so pretty. The water's a little, little flat there. That's okay. It's still pretty. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Oh, that looks like a way out. Let's not go that way. Is 
Sign post. Time to go pee on it. <laughs> Such a, an interesting idea for a waypoint and fast travel. You go pee on it. <laughs> Looks like a way out too, so let's not go that way. Let's go in here. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. But I'll hear you do this. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. So, says you covered the important things already. Says they're cautious of non-allies. He let you in, but thinks you should be patient when it comes to the seafood. This is such a big room for such tiny little creatures. No, oh, he's so cute. He's so adorable. La panen a ginkan man. Berat na fala tukut mus to guy la wute. Karap la wute. The myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. Get out. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. A vigilante? I'm not a vigilante. It's not okay. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. What? There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Can both? The ghoul of a mosse? Man is The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. How you know my Muma? What? Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. So if we choose to ally with Myriad, with the fact that they want to unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters and save the tree of life, this will make sure that the end goal is to save the tree of life, um, which would be choosing a destiny for the defeated rival Sifus, uh, limited to either unite them or subdue them. Um, I think I'd rather unite them. I'd rather save the tree, save our world, give us life. He was hoping you'd life is good, right? Yeah. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor. And with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. 
coerced. But again, can I let the bite moose? You know one thing. The myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Hello? Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong like Fu him. and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Let's you both watch. have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. <laughs> Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Mm. <laughs> they pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Mm, village, so I'm curious about right now. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. So clearly, he knows me from a time at one point in our life. I'm curious as to how. Is there any secrets back here? No secrets. Back here was quite place. But it's okay. Let's go this way. Back into here. You have anything in here I can have? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's out here. Oh. Yeah, it's a pool. And I swim like a D to D. That's great. Take all the health kits I can get because I'm a potato. Oh, no, you need way that way. Okay. Cool. What about in here? Any secrets in here? Nope. Says your clonk follower looks like it's about to fall apart. Oh, that's so nice. Says you should take it easy. Kakanda? 
claims to have strange things from the dead zone that are so rare they need to be seen to be believed. Oh, so you merchants. Suggests you take it easy. You won't strike a good deal here if you're in a hurry. Uh, each vendor is specialized in a particular type of items. Melee weapon parts, ranged weapon parts, gear parts, clothes, or mounts. Going to vendors and browsing their stock can be a great way to find better parts for your gear. If you're missing a specific part to craft a weapon, you can always check the nearest vendor. You can purchase items from vendors provided you have enough green, which I don't have. Jiggly squat! Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then we oh we can sell some items too. Is there anything to sell? I don't really want to sell my health packs because they're kind of important. Um, I guess like two of these won't hurt, right? Okay. Let's go back to oh, wait. Uh, why would I want to sell my weapons that I'm currently using? No, this is all range stuff. Oh. So, yeah, I won't be able to afford any of this anytime soon. Cheapest Christ. Okay. Fair trade. Sure. Oh, what's in here? Did you do? Okay. More health. Always useful. It's over here. More health. Always useful. We'll come back to that area. No, let's go back here first. Whoops. Wonders why you can't see how pointless all your efforts are. Oh, you're me. Says you should take it easy. That's the. It's okay. Yeah. No. Okay. What's up here? I think this is. If we go back this way, there was a person there. We'll come back to you. I think I talked to you, right? Nope. I did not talk to you. What are you? Lincoln from Liverpool. Shopkeeper claims you won't be able to find better goods anywhere else. The doors here are always open for a potential customer. See what they might want to offer. Oh, you expensive too. Jeebus criminy. Why are you so expensive? Oh, you're so expensive. What do you say? Sakada says the shop holds something for everyone, especially you. Tabab Yelui wants you to take your time as they're open for another couple of hours. Okay, what's in here? Oh, Jeebus. Oh, so expensive. What is this? Yeah, I think I'll wait. I will find something eventually, I'm sure. Door! What do you have hiding in here, people? I take all your stuff. Was there another door? I thought I saw another door. Did I see another door? Yes. Oh, more stuff. Health packs. Oh, the health. Door went through. The door over her. Nope. It's up the stairs. I went this way. Okay. 
Ja. Okay. I'm leaving now. <laughs> so we're going this way. pretty the night sky hole oh. I have to admit the transitions of this are fantastic a really good job with this oh it's starting to be daybreak <gasps> sunrise okay anything down here Okay, so the water effect is actually really nice too. Because your character actually gets wet. Sees away for a long time, which is a little more realistic. It also darkens the color of everything because you did jump in water, which is a natural effect, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's very pleasing. So back up the road. Any secrets? Okay, guess not. supposed to go? Yep. Okay. Oh, what what was that? Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution. The wonky Oh, a potato. aiming is a little cheaty. You don't have to be like right on the enemy. It's just you have to be close. And I, I, I feel it's a little little bit cheaty. Oh that that was a rock on of my head. Oh, oh well that hurt. Leveled up. Yay! Oh, I'm inside the rock. Ah! I am straight inside the rock. Okay. 
So that's a thing. What's up here? Oh. Oh. Can I not get up there? I feel like I should be able to get up there, right? That makes logical sense. Oh, nope, not that way. Um. I got stuck. Nope, can't climb up that way. So. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can't get up there? Nope, okay. I tried. I made the effort. I made the effort, guys. Ah, nope. Can't get up that way either. That just slide right off the rock. About up here. Oh, can't get in here. No. Oh, okay. Um, so there's nothing in here. Clearly. For the shot. Over here. I feel like there's gotta be a secret in here. There's so many like little cubby holes to put stuff. I just want there to be secrets and things and all the items. Wow. Okay, what about over here? Whoop, whoop. I think I tried to get up here, didn't I? No. Oh, this is just a reskin. The same building as over there, just float. Okay, can I get up on this tree? Oh. It's like this is a missed opportunity for loot and things and all the things. Okay. Fine. So you don't have any extra hidey stuff in the broken buildings. That's fine. I'm gonna go in here. Ooh. Oh, that is really pretty, actually. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it. Drawing you closer. So how is everyone enjoying the game so far? I have to say, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm glad I went with the mercenary class. It is very smooth. I'm a little potato. I still feel like the shooting is a little cheesy with the fact that it just straight locks on the character even if you're barely pointing at it. But it's fluid. It's smooth. And I like it. And we're just Let's gonna be on this post again. Okay, so we're in the middle of the two tribes, it looks like. It's actually a really pretty area, though. I still love this map. It's just so... It's so detailed. So very three-dimensional. And it's it pretty much looks like the world zoomed out, for sure. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you become. This story is far from over. Oh, I'm gonna be a tiny little Echoes one again. of a long oh. lost past, like whispers in the wind. Oh, this is so pretty. All rebuilt and everything, and we're just a little tiny little guy. Oh. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. The goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. Oh, he wonders where you've been. 
He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Let's go swim. swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. I mean, I should, realistically. I do, but sure, I'd be grateful if you taught me. And he'll be honored. <laughs> he just straight through me. And give me a second. Let I'm gonna pause right here. Let's take a look at this character. Why does he have like these duck feet on like an otter or seal or whatever he is supposed to be? It's weird. I mean, I get they're mutated creatures, but that's that's a little extra mutation that I don't know if was absolutely necessary. <laughs> Makes him look a little funny. He reminds me of like a mime too in the face, like with the facial colors and everything. I love it. It's adorable. In most waters, while in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy. When you're out of key, you'll drown. Oh, well, I don't want to drown. Ah, no, no. Okay. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? You almost oh, drowned yeah. He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. Why don't you want to drown? But you need practice. Lots of practice. That mustache, though. But here we Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. But Evie, you can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Ah, Sadoru too. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes oh, down. Oh, she's so pretty. It's time to go. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna answer this based on how I would most likely answer in real life because I lose track of time so easily. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. I want to explore, though. I'm so tiny. So teeny tiny. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. He's adorable. Asks how you're feeling today. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Keep the planet clean, guys. Prevent the apocalypse. Of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Glory spots. Loot. Speed spread. He wonders what useful. Thank you, sir. Did not do. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. 
He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. His eyes are so beady, they're adorable. All right, so welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons and armors, or if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch with the light. Okay, with the right pieces, you can craft your own weapons. Ooh. To start crafting your weapon, first select the base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons. Crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. Oh, I, I can't choose. Okay. To continue crafting your weapon, select the handle slot. Handle. Okay. Hmm. Banana. <laughs> but it's called a bonana. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> kind of like the sword. Ooh, I really like that. Ooh, that. Um, to craft a weapon for a square. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. Kalina? She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Okay, That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. It's intended, Antoro. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. Okay, bye, Mama. This just looks like trouble. They look mean. They also look like the people. They look the tribes. Better watch out. Hello, hey, uh. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Ole, olaga. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. Mali arunu, matua. There's no way they'll let you pass. Shisisuburu, he wants to know who you think you are. They push Bully. each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. He's mean. He's a bully. That's not fair. I was whooping their butt, man. Oh, 
Oh, and you're just gonna take the weapon I made? That's so sad. That's so mean. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. She said it before. Wang Fu will keep your body in good health, and that's how you keep your mind strong and clear. Okay. Follow Mama. Where'd she go? She just went poof. Okay, we're going here. Is this our home? It's so big. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Kalba. Seeing you always puts a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Okay. This is so big. I'm so tiny. So teeny tiny. Why He's curious to see what you found. Und Satuna. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Zatuna. Arin Kashuma. Seems like a hippie. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Kidlo. Wakshandona nenya. Papa Zudu. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried. And that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. When looting, you will find add-ons. These can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item to upgrade armor and clothing with items. Select a slot and press... Okay. Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, well. The style might <laughs> be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. I didn't even add anything. <laughs> he knows he's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. <laughs> you should take it with you. Wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. Sem He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Apparently not. A straight potato brain. Ah. That's a big dude. Jeepus. Is that why all the houses are so big? Because jeepus. Okay. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. 
Training dummies don't hit back. Mommy Bassa wants you to prove that with some practice first. No. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Asana, your tutupu. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Monibasa. Thanks you for being such a good student. Asana, your tutupu. That it? Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Yo yo no masaman barut tropalo. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Mustiki muhka says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. He's so big. Also, I get to talk to the big. D oh no, I get to chase the thing around the yard. Okay. I don't get to go talk to him. I wanted to go talk to the big guy. Catchy. Can't see. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Mustiki muhka. Figuring that out is half the fun. Inyada aldo kalino. A piece of scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. That it? It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Monibasa. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. I don't want it to Apli do it Everything ends, both good and bad. Rest, and you'll find Aww. strength for tomorrow. I'm so tiny in the bed. Yeah, so tiny. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from setting the world on fire. He's me. I know there's always a bad guy, but oh. can see. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flame. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. So sad, so painful. Come on, your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time, there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Can yala no toro? Que aldo male canaru tuno? There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It... She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it is. The past coming to hold the present. He's so angry. Why are you so angry? Ow. I can't heal. Okay. No. I am going to die. It'd be a shame to die in the tutorial. That's not okay. Why is Mo 
Akuma just standing in the fire. Bruh. Wah. I am going to die. I am going to die. Oh. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Luma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. No, no, no. Some faster, Muma. Some faster. No. I missed. Is that my popsy? Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The it's creature so sad. is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Run. Real sacrifice Run. comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. Aww. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything Aww. to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. <gasps> oh. That's so sad. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Wait, where am I? Okay, hold on. So we're gonna level up here. Hmm. Vitality seems pretty good right now. Um. I'm thinking my strength or my intellect because of the key energy. I think we're gonna go here. Things seem simpler now. <laughs> Alright, so mutations. Ooh. That looks fun. This. Set it there. So. So one full maneuvers. You don't have those. Close combat. Dual 
shield. Nope. One hand. Oh, I don't have anything for perks. Dang it. Okay. Um, let's see, let's go here. So what happened to being in here? I wanna go back into here. Oh. Okay. So cool. That works. Fine, sure. We'll just come back here later. Um here. No items. No items. No items. Oh, now you're covered. Oh, inventory. Okay. Okay, so no, okay. Ah, uh, no, I wasn't done. Uh, oh, okay, maybe I was. I guess I was. Okay, I guess I was. That's fine. Have I already? on this thing. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no, apparently not. Oh, yes I did. Uh don't remember doing that, but sure. Okay, so I can now craft weapons. So is it, is it in here? For the accomplished cutter. Aha. Feels good on you? What to build? What to build? So I don't have any add ons for pretty much anything. I think the only thing I have add ons for is the weapons, I guess. Oh, I see it now. Ha! So, it's this one that I can modify, right? I don't, no, no add on there. Oh, this is this no changes made though. 
I selected that. That makes no sense. Okay. Sure. Torso. Okay. Why is it still saying... Well, okay then. Uh, let's just continue forward. It's in a car! What are they doing? The tribe's caught a fluffy hole. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff out some malice. Oh, I okay. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they planned to take the fluff hulk out to the far fnacky leaves and let it go. He just seems so angry. The had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. You looking out my number my? A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. Not really. It's west of Bricktown. You can spot Gizmo's chug yard from the hill it resides on. Okay. Cool. Alright, before we go do that. Secrets! I don't think there's going to be any secrets. Something I've noticed about this game so far, they don't have a whole lot of, like, loot. At least not yet. That might change. Oh, 
Can I not get up there? It looks like I can get up there. I kind of want to try. Oh, nope. There, there is a wall there. Cool. Go into the hole. Secrets. Okay. Uh, let's go to the door. Look, an emergency box from the old days when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow. This? Bet that nut makes a tight fist. Lord. You found the clunk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. Oh. It can even be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. Okay. So here, here. Um. Sure. That is so clunky. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Nope, guess not. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? No, it is extremely creepy down here though. You don't like it. Huh? Oh, not very ranged. Energy isn't up for that. <laughs> now that's a flesh wound. No, 
That's not fair. I'm determined. only took forever. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize by leaving, they would regen all their health. Bonana. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxinol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Oh, hey, wait, we leveled up. All right. Um, so I'm gonna go in strength this time. Uh, let's see. Uh, when you find a new weapon tape, you'll be able to spend... Okay, I'm not worried about that right now. Um, look out. Your loot chances increase with 10%. Uh, loot. Yes. Why not? I think the mutations. Biogenetics. Fungi, what's this do? Oh. I kind of like that. It makes life really easy. And we're gonna equip that to triangle, I think. Cool. Well, Alright. Oh, I should have probably done that too. That's that's okay. Bonana. Yeah, right. So, do we just go up here to get there? Open up the map to see the area objectives again. Alright. Okay, so... I know that will get there. Uh, old world knowledge, notice boards, and follow the trail. Oh, hey! Oh, wait. You have a chance to change the future for good or bad. Oh, 
Wait, is it? Is there a downstairs? Nope. Not there. So let's go up here. Is there anything up here? Oh, there is. A uh, short set. Okay. Cool. Why? Okay. Sure. Yes! Loot. I will take all the loot. Thank you. Me. It's in here. Let's be on it. Yep. Open Let's up this see. spot on the map. Cool. Do -do 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 -do. Any sun is way better than none. Do these have loot in them? They do. What is over in here? Never thought you need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Right? Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. Got it. You really put a spin on it. Oh, radioactive module. Ooh, take off. All right. Open that. What's over here? Anything over here? It doesn't appear so. What about down here? Don't trip over what you can't see. But I'm a potato. I trip over everything. Wah. Okay, so let's board it up. Cool. What about over here? Oop. Loot. Someone will pay dearly for that. Looks like the Fry Sparker's knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. Oh. 
It's a fry sparker mindset. Boom, you got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. Okay. Search the couch here. Amazing it wasn't destroyed. So much of this place was just discarded. Lucky the track somehow made it. No, it was never nice. It was new once, but that's not nearly the same thing. Just being new never lasts. It's true. The tracks moved on from It's no Brick longer Town, new once you've had it for a couple of hours. Too. Well, I'm not done looting, so meh. Find all of the things. Are you scared yet? No. Nope. It's getting dark. Okay. So, do I come in here and go down somewhere? Aha! A flush stool from. Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Ah, yes. That's gross. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. I don't know if I want to put that on my head. It was in a toilet. Do I want to? I think I should. It'd be smart, because it's a lot of bonuses. Screw it. Okay. It's on my head now. That's gross. back here. There's a door. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Oh. Oh, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen, I don't think. Alright. Good thing the forest trees don't have monsters gnawing their roots. guys so i think this is a good stopping point for now um we will definitely be picking this up some more uh of first let's take a look at some of this wong fu what we get oh this is not what i wanted this is what i want okay oh i don't have anything for that ha okay um but that's going to be it for me for now guys might pick it up later today um got some getting ready to eat something i'm a little hungry um, maybe back at around seven ish or so, depending on how I feel. Um, it's been a blast. Really want to keep playing this. Be back later, guys. Bye.